Hello everyone, this is Bilal and I welcome you all in our course that is Building Planning and Drawing Vision at Academy. Okay, so in last in last video we have discussed about the ground floor plan. So where we have completed the ground floor, uh, the full plan, the elevation that is we have covered the front elevation and the section at the cross section line at x axis. Correct. So we have seen that one. We have completely we have drawn done the uh, working plan not working plan the presenting plan we can say that one a complete plan we have seen that one so what all things should be included then hence the plan will be produced on the side so we have seen the uh, elevation also in the elevation everything we have mentioned that one the height uh, the uh, depth of the foundation the floor height whatever the standard heights are going on according to that we have taken that one depending upon the elevations like depending upon the design depending upon the client requirement and architectural work so we can change the height also in different different panels but the minimum the standard heights whatever we have given that should be there that is the minimum standard heights okay so next we have seen the section also through the section line so in the section line we have just learned how to uh, show the section line uh, what are the uh, requirement of the foundation so in this section in the last uh, drawing we have seen that one that is a load bearing structure so whatever the section we have drawn according to the load bearing foundation we have drawn correct so after that we have seen the uh, walls we have seen that one what are the hatchings are there different different types of hatching is there uh, for the different component of the structures correct so we have maintained the standard uh, heights also standard uh, dimensions also and we have seen the specifications also so what are the minimum specification which should be provided okay so if you go for the depending upon the loading conditions depending upon the structural drawings and all we are going to change the height depth and the size of the foundation and the other structural components okay but the minimum specification whatever we have mentioned in the drawing that should be followed clear so that all things we have discussed in the last class okay so here so we are going to start the another exercise so in this exercise we are going to start we are taking the ground plus one structure so this is our live project okay so this is already done so i will share you the all the working plans the permission plan and the or the submission plan you can say that one uh, and the structural drawings and the 3d elevation correct so everything I will share you in the later. Once we finish this exercise, I will share everything over there. Okay. So this is already a live project. We have completed this project over here. So we just start from the scratch and we'll just see that one how to do this. Okay. So the exercise, uh, this exercise is a frame structure. Okay. So this is not a, a load bearing structure. This is a frame structure. Frame structure in the sense we have included all the structural components in this one. So what all are the structural components, the beam, the columns, correct, and the slabs and the footings. These all are the structural components. And we just try to see this one. So we complete the working plan over this one also. We just try to uh, see then how to draw the structural drawings and how to draw the other working drawings also. Okay, submission drawing also. We just see that one, one by one. So first, the basic drawing. So what is the... Uh, procedure are there what is the things are there according to that we just draw the basic presentation drawing okay which we is going to submit in the site okay so in the presenting drawing what all things should be included in the presenting drawing all the walls with that proper dimensions okay length and the width and the internal dimensions also should be there okay after and the positions of the doors and windows also we need to show in the presentation drawing okay the sizes of the doors and windows also we need to show in the presentation drawing okay next uh, in the plan presentation plan uh, we need to show the plinth projection we need to show the chacha projection and we need to show the slab projection as well okay so all these things we should be included in the presentation plans okay so we just see that one how to draw the presentation plan according to the procedure these are the minimum requirements or minimum things which should be included in the presentation plan so rather than that we can include the electric layouts we can include the plumbing layouts we can include the uh, furniture layout all that things will be there okay but these are the minimum things which should be included in the presentation plans okay and this is a frame structure so one more thing we just need to add here 
that is we need to add the column positions okay in the plan itself we need to add the column position that also we just see that one, how to draw the columns how to add the columns what are the criteria of adding the columns all that things we just cover in this one. okay so let's begin with this one uh, I just go to the AutoCAD I just take a new file okay I just open so I just save this one uh, I just give the exercise number 3 okay save clear so what is our first step what is the first step of starting any drawing so as we discussed the first step of starting any drawing is that is the first thing we need to identify the units of the drawing correct so what are the units what are the dimensions in which units we need to do all the dimensions that we need to identify first so I just go to the drawing I just check so which drawings is added here the all the drawings all the dimensions everything is there in meters here you can see this one everything is there in meters so we just go and set the units in meters okay that is the first step identification of the units so the next step is the next step is we need to fix the limits okay once we set the units next step is we need to fix the limits and once we fix the limits the next step is to uh, to edit the dimensions command okay so set the dimensions command what we can say once these three things will be set next we can start our building plan okay i just set this one first i just go to the units command i just type units press enter here position i just set 0, 0.00 and here i just set meters press ok so our units are set so the next step the next step is we need to set the limits i just type the limits here limits press enter so what is asking here specify the lower left corner okay so i just go here so specify the lower left corner this one 0 comma 0 I just take and specify the upper right corner this we need to take so I just set the limits so as I discussed in the earlier class the limit should be in the form of paper size but what happened here uh, the dimensions whatever we have given uh, the drawings whatever we have given in the dimension if you set for the scale of 1 is to 100 then it will not set in the paper size so later we just set that one now at present we just take a approximate dimensions okay approximate uh, limits we just take that one once we finish the drawing we just convert that dimensions or uh, convert that limits into the paper size and uh, we just uh, set the scale also according to that one then we can proceed to for the printing that i just tell you how to do that one once we finish the drawing so here i will take uh, the limits as 75 by 75 meters okay so that all the plans elevation sections everything will be set in the particular things okay i just go here i just type in the command prompt as a limits I just type limits press enter 0 comma 0 press enter i just take 75 comma 75 as my limits press enter next rec rectangle press enter next 0 comma 0 press enter same uh, same limits whatever we have taken that only we need to give here I just type here 75 by 75 it is not coming here it is coming in the corner press enter z enter a enter oh, we have done some mistake in the rectangle I just <coughs> repeat that one rectangle REC enter 0 comma 0 enter 75 by 75 enter Z enter A enter okay so okay it's not coming proper I just delete this one again REC enter first 0 comma 0 enter next 75 comma 75 enter 
फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट लेंथ एंड द ब्रेथ ऑफ द प्लान सो आउटर टू आउटर लेंथ एंड आउटर टू आउटर ब्रेथ ऑफ द प्लान दिस इज द लेंथ एंड दिस इज द ब्रेथ फॉर ग्राउंड फ्लोर एंड फर्स्ट फ्लोर ओके फर्स्ट वी गो विद द ग्राउंड फ्लोर द सेम विल बी देयर इन द फर्स्ट फ्लोर ओनली सो लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ द प्लान वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट ओके सो एज पर दिस प्लान वी जस्ट कैलकुलेट दैट वन the length and the breadth of the plans okay so how to calculate that one that uh, in last class also we just discussed that one uh, here also we just calculate
so now we just quickly calculate the length and breadth of the building okay uh, i just come here i just calculate so what is the length length of the building right side and length of the building left side okay you can calculate any one side so that it will be same at the both the sides so in this plan okay uh, not in all the plan the, both the sides are same but uh, uh, i can consider in this plan if both the walls are same okay so the plan is of rectangular shape so here we can see this one left main wall and right this this veranda wall we are not considering as a main walls okay this is up to the plinth level only will be there above the plinth level that is only the railings will be there okay so you are not considering this one only these walls and this one okay the both the wall are same so we can calculate any one also so that it will be same or we can just calculate both the things so that it will having a like this one okay so i just go here uh, the length of the building at the right side okay what is that from here we can see this one from the right side of the building so 0.23 plus 5 3.53 plus 0.23 plus 3.72 plus 0.23 plus 3.6 correct plus 0.23 so this one will just calculate uh, i just type here 0 0.23 plus what is that uh, 0 0.23 plus 3.53 plus 3.53 plus 0 0.23 plus how much 3.72 plus 0 0.23 3.72 plus 0 0.23 plus 3.6 plus 0 0.23 we just check okay 3.6 plus 0.23 so is equal to i just calculate uh, this is as 11.77 okay if you calculate like this uh, from the left side also we just check how much it is how much is coming no need to calculate because it are rectangular shape so both things will become same but we just for a cross verification we just chalk that one we just check that one so here 0 0.23 plus 5.55 plus uh, this one we can consider as a partition wall that is 0 0.15 and this one we can just consider 0 0.1 uh, 1.78 plus this one mean wall 0 0.23 3.6 and 0 0.23 okay we just type here and we just see whether it coming same or not 0 0.23 plus 5 point how much uh, 5 point 5 5 plus 0 0.15 that is the partition wall plus 1.78 plus 0 0.23 next one is the and 3.6 plus 0 0.23 so we just calculate this one 0 0.23 plus 5.55 we just calculate 1.78 0.23 just confirm that one 55 0.1.7 3.63 plus so if we calculate this one it is coming the same 11.77 so similarly we just calculate breadth of the building okay so b is equal to so from back and from the front okay so this breadth of the building that is 0 0.23 plus 4.14 this one we can consider as a partition wall that is 0 0.15 plus 1.41 this one we can consider as a main wall because the, our fittings are coming over this wall we can consider it so 0 0.23 plus 4.20 plus 0 0.23 so i just calculate this I just calculate this so b is equal to 0 0.23 plus 4.14 4.14 plus 0 0.15 plus 1.41 plus 0 0.23 plus how much we'll just check 
0.23 so is equal to how much so we just calculate it's coming 10.59 meters so similarly from the front side also we just calculate no need to calculate that one because we having a rectangular plan we just calculate once so here we just come here in the front wall uh, how much it is coming that is 0.23 plus 2.7 fly this one we can consider as a partition wall that is 0 0.15 1.38 again 0.15 partition wall that is next 5.7 and main wall that is 0.23 uh, I just write here 0 0.23 plus how much 2.75 plus 0 0.15 plus plus how much it is 0 0.15 plus 1.38 1.38 plus 0 0.15 again plus 5.7 plus 0 0.23 equals to we just check is it 5.7 yeah 5.7 plus 0 0.23 so is equal to if we calculate this one so it's also coming 10.59 meters okay so we have calculated length and breadth of the uh, walls okay so once we find out this one length and length we can start doing in the AutoCAD okay I just come to the our AutoCAD screen uh, so, so this is our uh, limit section so here we just start this one so using the line command also you can do that one or using the uh, construction line also you can do it. I just use the construction line this time. So last uh, in last plan we have used the line command. Now I just use the construction line. Okay, so I just draw on construction line because if I want the plan over here, I just on the ortho mode. So the line will come straight. Okay, so if you off the ortho mode, the line will not come straight. You just on the ortho mode to want a straight or line. I just go to the construction line over here. Again, I just press OK. So I just check here okay so whatever the extra line will be there I just trim that one I just go to the trim command here you can see this one there is a trim command now press enter uh, I don't want this 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 and this okay so what is our outer dimensions so our outer dimensions is I just check Okay, so length is over 11.77 meter and width is 10.59 meter. Okay, uh, this one is length 11.77, 10.59. I just draw here, I just go to the offset command, offset, press enter. Now I'm just asking what is specify the offset distance. I just specifying that one 11.77, that is the length from here to here, it is length and again i just go to the offset and specify the distance that is width 10.59 meter press enter so i just take offset now again i just go to the trim command here or you can just type tr we'll get the trim command press enter now we just trim 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 and trim okay so this is our outer walls so we just confirm we just uh, check that one whether it is correct or not using the dimensions command okay 10.59 i just go here press first point second point i just check okay this is also correct okay 11.77 okay i just delete this one don't want right now now what is the next step next one is we need to draw the walls or we need to use the offset command we need to use the walls again i just go to the offset command i just write here you can see this one there is offset command you go here and you can just type that one or you just type o if i type the o that is the shortcut key of the offset command press enter it's asking specify the distance so what is our main one distance that is 0 0.23 press enter i just do 1 2 3 and 4 
I just check in the plan. All the four sets are the main walls. Okay. Okay. So now, once the main walls we have done, we'll just draw the internal walls. The first I will draw the vertical walls. Then I just draw the horizontal walls. Anyhow, you can draw the horizontal and vertical. Vertical horizontal. Anyhow, you can draw that one. So I just draw this one first vertical so one wall is done second one here that is at a distance of 2.75 meter okay this wall i just draw i just again go to the offset command so offset command is very useful while drawing the walls okay you can using the line also you can use the rectangle command also but uh, i feel offset is very easy and it is fast you can draw that one offset press enter that is 2.75 meter press enter okay next offset wall thickness that is 0.15 is that press enter that is the partition walls here again i just go what is distance 1.38 and wall thickness is 0.15 then again i just press offset command 1.38 press enter and offset 0.15 press enter okay so next i just check 5.7 so this width should be 5.7 we'll just check uh, here internal to internal 2.75 correct next again i just check that is 1.38 correct again i just check 5.70 correct so whatever the things we have given that is correct 5.70 so now we'll just draw the vertical this one uh, how much what is the distance 3.53 I just take offset command 3.53 enter okay uh, offset I just considering this wall as a main wall 0.23 enter okay now whatever the extra things are there I'm just going to trim 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 okay so again here you can see this one there is one partition wall is there at a distance of 1.98 i just add this one offset 1.98 press enter then offset partition wall that is 0 0.15 okay i just trim the extra lines so this is the extra so what is this distance that is 1.40 so we'll just check that one whether it is 1.40 is there or not okay this is 1514 1.40 and this one is 1.98 okay so next so next i just draw so here here you can see this one there is one bathroom is there okay so bathroom from here you can directly draw bathroom or i'm just taking from here so that it will be easy for me so to draw this one uh, that distance is 3.6 so i just go here i go to the offset command press enter 3.6 i'm taking press enter so you can draw in any way okay so you can draw this one first if there is no certain rules out there we need to draw this 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 you can draw any internal box you can start from here also then you can come here from here also you can go there any internal so but whatever these dimensions mention these dimensions the internal dimensions mention after checking these dimension it should be same that is the only thing okay next offset 0.23 that's the wall thickness i just come here okay and what is the size of the room okay width is 4.14 next 0.15 next 1.41 next 0.23 plus 4.20 i just draw here offset press enter 4.14 press enter okay next offset wall thickness 0 0.15 press enter okay the extra i just trim so here the here it won't get confused here whatever the extra is then i'm just deleting okay next width of the bathroom that is 1.41 go to the offset command 1.41 press enter next wall thickness is 0.23 why it is 0.23 because we can consider as a main wall that is the purpose is the sanitary and concealed plumbing fittings coming over there 
okay so next width of the room 4.20 we just check that one whether 4.20 is coming or not if it is not coming then it is not correct okay it is coming 4.20 clear so next uh, what is the bathroom width here 2.48 from here it is 2.48 i just put offset command 2.48 press enter next offset 0.15 is the wall thickness and extra whatever the things are there i am going to trade okay so our drawing room kitchen puja prayer room store room master bedroom bathroom and bedroom so common bathroom we need to draw here so from here it is 1.78 i just create offset command 1.78 press enter offset 0.15 with the wall thickness press enter and width of the room is 3.28 uh, what room offset 3.28 press enter and offset 0.15 that we can consider as a partition wall press enter i just trim the extra line okay so here we can see this one our loading area kitchen dining bedroom bedroom and common bathrooms okay so once we have draw all the walls the next step is we need to draw or we need to show the position of the doors and the windows clear so next step that is drawing of the doors and the windows so before doing the drawing or before going for the draw position of the drawings uh, sorry doors and windows so we need to know that one what is the sizes of the doors and the windows correct so in some cases this some cases what happen the doors and window sizes will be mentioned by the architect or on some cases we need to assume that one as per the standard sizes so here in our case there is no schedule of opening is mentioned so i just assume that one what will be the sizes here okay so according to that we just go that one so first we come to the doors so how many types of doors are there we just need to observe that so the first one is the main door that is one type uh, here you can see this one another door that is d1 and here also d1 here also d1 and here one d and here d so here you can see this one there is a three types of door this is also a d okay so here also one door is that the notation is missing here but this is also a d so we can observe that one there is a three type of the doors are there main door bedroom doors and the bathroom doors okay so i just take uh, as per the standard specification i just take the door sizes i just write over here size of the opening first one is main door that is md size i just consider 1.10 by 2.10 meter okay the always suggest these are the minimum standard dimensions of the opening main door next door that is d1 that is d1 i just consider this one as 1 meter 1 meter by 2.1 meter okay next bathroom doors are there uh, sorry this is not a d1 this is a d only next bathroom doors are there that is door that is door that one we can consider as d1 that is 0 0.9 by 2.10 meter okay so hope you will visible the things i just zoom this one so it will be easy to observe it. next windows okay three doors are there i just consider the door first then we just go to the windows we just look at the doors the first one is the main door i just go to the offset command press enter what is this width of the main door that is 
uh, press enter I just draw main door and extra part I just trim here here okay now only I'll just trim that one otherwise you will not get confused here so here one door is there I just go to the door offset what is the width of the door normal doors are 1 meters I just go 1 press enter and trim this one okay here one door is there and here one door is there I just open the plan so here you can see this one so one door for storeroom and for this okay this door is the center correct this door the prayer room door is at the center and this is at the corner we just draw that one at the center and the corner how to draw at the center I just consider this one first one I just draw the center line next I just go to the offset command what is the width of the door that is 0.9 meter total width half width is 0 0.45 plus enter uh, I just draw 1.45 here and 0.45 here and I just trim the extra part this also you can trim so that will trim later okay so here 0.9 meter door is there at the corner offset 0.9 enter and trim okay so next we come to the here so here you see this one okay here here there is a full opening is there the full wall width whatever the full wall width is there the full wall width opening is there and here one is d1 is there and here from here to here it is a door from here to here it is a door and from here okay uh, we just draw this one this one this one and this one i just come here this is the full opening i just trim this one okay full opening from here it is a door offset door width is one meter i just draw here okay here you can see this one here you can see this one uh, the size of the door is coming outside of the wall 1 meter I just delete this one and I just check how much it is coming so in this case I am considering this one this full width as a door ok this full width as a door ok 1 meter is not fitting over here so for that purpose I am just considering full width ok sometimes it will happen according to the wrong dimensions so these things will happen but in actual in actual on site in that cases you just adjust something here okay you can adjust and you can draw the or you can leave the door here and here one more bathroom door is there uh, which position it is okay from this wall to this wall i just go here i just go to the offset that is 0.9 meter I just take and draw here, press enter, I just trim the extra part. And here one door is there, offset, that is also 0.9 meter width. And here, I just trim. Okay, so now wherever the corner walls and whatever the extra lines are there, I just trim and delete the things. So that all the walls will look continuous. I just trim this one okay so all the things will look continuous okay so by mistake if you do any any extra and any wall you deleted you just press ctrl z undo command so that the previous thing will come back trim trim I just trim this one here also trim uh, here here and here here and here okay I'm just quickly I'm just doing this one okay this one also this this uh, this okay here and here so this Okay, almost clear. This, this, and last one is this. Here one it is. Clear? So all the walls we have trimmed and all the doors we have shown also. So main door, this is a center prayer room door, storeroom door, kitchen room door, 
and bedroom doors bath master bedroom door master bathroom door and here the bathroom doors common bathroom door okay i just go and check that one here you can see one thing observed right this wall is at the length of this from here to here and here to here the wall of length of the wall is same so we have drawn up to here only correct we just need to extend this one why we need to extend this one what is the purpose so so here you can see this one there is a a bathroom is there which is connected from drawing room correct so if uh, anyone sitting over here so the privacy to maintain the privacy so we are extending this wall okay those who are using the bathroom to maintain that privacy we are using we are extending this wall okay so i just extend this one okay till this length for that one i just use the construction line okay and here i just extend and i just did i just close this one okay correct so we have extended this one. i just save this drawing okay always saving the drawing is a good practice so now i just do one thing now i just draw veranda also okay so what is the width of the veranda 1.5 meter i just take a offset command I just point 1.5 meter, press enter, 1.5 meter, press enter. So external walls will be connected here. So for that one, I just use the chamfer command. I just click over here, first two steps, second step. Again, I go to the chamfer command. So first line, I selected this and second line. Okay, I'm taking the connection of this wall. Just do this one. After that, there is a steps. How many steps are there? So three risers are there, two threads are there. So what is the thread width? We can consider thread width as 0.3 and riser height as 0.15. As we have taken in the last example also, the same thing, we just take offset thread as 0 0.30, 0 0.30. This is the standard one and two threads are there and we just extend this. Enter using the extend command. Okay, so we have drawn the doors, we have drawn the veranda as well. Now, next step we need to draw the windows. So, we just observe the document how many types of windows are there, and according to that, we just take a standard sizes and uh, just do that. So, here for the living room, there is a two windows that is one. W and W1 and for bathroom ventilator is there and for bedroom W1 is there and one more W1 is there and one more W1 is there and here W2 and here W2. So how many types of windows are there? There is a three types of windows are there. That is W, W1 and W2 and there is a ventilators. Okay. So we just take the sizes here. I just write here. Sizes of openings in that one window. Windows that is W capital. Okay, so this is the living room window. So for the living room window, we just consider 1.5 meter by 1.6 meter width and the height. Okay, next window that is W1, W1. We can consider a smaller size window, little smaller size window, uh, so that to maintain the privacy because uh, it is in the bedroom. So to maintain that privacy also and for the good ventilation also, we just keep that one. So I just considering one point, uh, between 1.2 to 1.4 meter, I'm just considering this one. Uh, 1.4 meter, we just take by height, I'm just considering 1.2 meters. Oh, okay, uh, 1.4 meter only. I can consider a uh, height because if you consider 1.2, then it will become very less. Or we can consider in between, as per the standard, we can consider in between 1.2 to 1.4. Uh, okay, I just increased a little higher this one with 1.5. And next one window that is W2. W2, these windows are normally used for the kitchen. So in the kitchen windows, we need to, the depth of the window is very little. 
okay always we just remember the depth of window we need to provide depth because in the kitchen room the kitchen top will be coming so the height of the kitchen top uh, will be there it is uh, around 1.2 meter so for that to maintain that height also uh, we need to mention that one so the always we just remember the depth of the kitchen windows is little lesser compared to the other windows so that is in between around 1 meter to 1.2 meter so width you can take uh, according to your uh, size of the kitchen and for the better ventilation you can take that one for this one i'm just taking uh, 1.4 as a width and 1.2 as a depth okay so next ventilator ventilator v as uh, 1.2 you can consider 1.2 is too much uh, for ventilator 0 0.6 by 0 0.5 meter okay so these are the dimensions of that 1.5 by 1.6 is the dimensions of the living room and all the other bedrooms that is 1.5 by 1.4 and next is 1.4 and next ventilator is 0.6 so here you can see this one width is 1.5 and 1.4 okay so we just draw here so we just go to the rectangle command i just draw one window here and whatever and i will just copy and paste wherever it is required so this is width is how much? One point. Uh, so I just add the dimensions here. Dimensions is zero point two three is the thickness, and one point five meter is the width. Okay. So I just draw the railings here also. Okay. If you want, you can change the color of the color of the windows also so it will be easily identifiable so i just select this one i just go to the properties uh, i just go to the pile here color section you can see this one this is the color section uh, i just consider as a red okay i'm just giving the red color to the windows any color you can choose that one according to your sizes okay so this is size i just rotate this one okay i just mark here at the center okay center of the wall and here also it is window is there center of the wall I just mark all the center of the walls okay and here also uh, cross it becomes and here so that it will be easy to draw that one okay so w we have drawn okay next we draw one more window that is w1 what is the size of the w1 okay that is 1.5 by 1.4 we need to show the uh, 1.5 the same thing so uh, i just write here the notation also so that you can easily identify that one this we can consider as W size is bigger as point five just consider and uh, copy this one W1 is also the same size 1.5 only and uh, W2 just copy this one so W2 is 1.2 meter so I just can draw the W2 or you can adjust from here also so this is 1.5 and we want 0.2 then we can reduce this one 0 0.15 trim i just check how much it is this is 1.2 but our wt is how much oh sorry it is 1.4 right uh, okay, I just increase this one point two ex enter from here. So here it is one point four. So W one is one point four. So okay. So 
So now I just place my remote. It is required. So W, just copy this one from the center. I just place it over here. So W, I have just run and next I just delete this one. Okay. And W1, here it is a W1. I just copy. So it is a, it is not like this, it is in vertical. So I just rotate this one. copy copy command I just copy here okay delete so here it is horizontal w1 I just copy this one from here it is w1 and here it is w1 okay so I just place it here I just drag it and here I just keep I just delete this one I, this one I just drag here and I just keep here I just delete this one and here it is one w1 is there right just copy I just paste here I just drag this one I just keep it here and just delete this one and w2 is there uh, oh, this one is w2 right okay w2 I just copy this one, copy command, I just click here from the center to the center and just still this is a W2 and here one more W2 is there, uh, I just go here, uh, this we need to rotate, I just rotate this one, I just first drag over here, how to drag, you just select and you just drag here like this. Uh, I just rotate this using the rotate command, press enter. Okay, I just copy this one. Uh, I just select on the center. Okay, I just delete. Don't want this. RW. Uh, so now, ventilator, two ventilators are there. So, ventilators, I just draw the ventilator here. Just go to the dimensions. 0.23 always you just remember the windows we need to provide at the outer walls only not for the internal walls only for the outer walls we need to provide the ventilator uh, sorry windows and ventilators 0.6 more time i just do dimensions 0.6 and point Two, three. Okay, I just color this one ventilator. I just go to the properties here. Here. Okay, just copy this one. And here I just this is a ventilator. And here one ventilator is required. I just rotate this one. Okay, I just copy this one. I just add here. Okay, I just write the notation. What is this? Ventilator V. We can notate this one as a V. I just copy this one also. And I just move this ortho. I just keep it here. Clear the extra part. I don't want these things. So here you can see, observe that one. We have drawn the windows. So W, W1, ventilator, W1, ventilator, W1, W1, and all these things. So we have drawn the doors and we have drawn the windows also. So once you provide the doors and windows, uh, the next step is. So in the last example, we have seen that one. The next step is we need to provide the or we need to provide the projections. What is the projection, length projection, such a projection and the slab projection. That is the load bearing structure. So in load bearing structure, what and only the walls will be there. There is no other structural components are there. But this one is the frame structure. So here in the frame structure, once we design this one, the next step is we need to provide the columns. So I just open the uh, plan here. Okay, so this is our plan that is for ground floor and the first floor plan. So now we just check that one how to place the columns here. 
what is the direction of the columns or the orientation of the columns and what are the sizes of the columns okay so that we just check that one the column should be provided so that it should not be uh, obstacle for the any room area or any circulation area okay and it should be at the corners and it should be uh, stable or whatever the loads are coming over the columns or transfer from the uh, uh, top that is from the slab to the beam beam to the columns it will be evenly transferred to the ground okay so it will take all the loads so we just check that one how to place the columns everything we just check in the next video okay so uh, we will continue in the next video thank you